So with that, let's kick off. Um, the first topic is the most basic sort of building blocks of math. So by the end of this first lesson, you will know what are natural numbers, integers, prime numbers, square and cube numbers, and finally, you know, rational and irrational, all sorts of ways that numbers are defined. I think this is so key. Most most people just skip through. They think, you know, these are just definitions, but the math key rooted. So I think if you get a firm understanding, everything else will build on this. Let's start with the absolute basics. Basic arithmetic, your math tables. Now, a lot of people, especially when they care, aaj, people, you know, make the argument that you have a calculator. Why should you know complex multiplications and additions? I completely disagree. I think if you can't do these in your head, then you are, you know, tying your hand behind your back when it comes to more complicated exam questions. So once we start getting into algebra, if you're basics, you need a calculator for everything. That's not a good start. So there's no getting around this. This just needs practice. There's no shortcut, but I'll try to give you some tips and tricks of how, how I remember my math tables to this day. I think let's start with two. I think two sub ko aate, so two, four, six, eight, ten. Uh, I think ye, I would be surprised if I run into someone just koi niyata because these are even, they're nice and thing, and then it just starts repeating, right? So it it goes like that, and then phir se if you write two, four, six, eight, ten, well not ten, but the point is if you put ones next to them, so it becomes the next table, then this becomes two and zero, and then again two, four, six, eight, ten, you know now you put twos. So this this table is hopefully. This would be 30. Hopefully, very, very intuitive. So, get to for sure on a chair. You should be. You should know the term even. If you see this on the last digit of any number, so even if it's 3,402, if the last digit is one of these 246810 or 24680, I should say, then it is even. So, this should become second nature. I think three pay. It starts getting tricky. Something I use is this trick we'll cover later, which is. If you add the digits, they have to be divisible by three. So we'll do the basic, which is three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. By the way, how am I doing this? Agar bhool jaye, you remember this? You just have multiplication is just addition, right? So you're just adding three every time to get the next one. Okay. So if your addition is strong, you forget. Kya twelve ke baad fifteen tha, eighteen tha. It has to be twelve plus three. Oh, that's fifteen. Then plus three. Oh, that's eighteen, and so forth. And the trick I'm mentioning is, let's say you can't remember if if it's 24 or 22 that's in the threes table. If you add the digits together, so 2 plus 4 is 6. Then if this number is divisible by 3, then your whole number is divisible. So we would know, oh, okay, yeah, 24 is in the threes table. Whereas 22, if I add is 2 plus 2 is 4. Oh, 4 is not in the threes table, so 22 is not divisible. So it's just a trick. But again, there's no getting around this. You have to know your threes table. So let's continue with the shortcuts and the ones I find tricky. That's why I'm highlighting this. So four ki table mein, I think everyone sort of gets the four, eight, twelve. Tak to hai. In fact, even, you know, the next one, 16, by the way, important number, because this is four squared and we'll get into squares in a second. But honestly, sometimes when I, if you just ask me, you know, what is four times six? That's the one I sometimes have to think about. So I'm just highlighting the ones that I think are, I wouldn't say tricky, but sometimes you just have to pause and make sure, okay, oh, four, six are 24 or 28. Hota so these two are tricky. I think, so it goes 20, well, 20, 24, 28, then 32, which is four times eight is a very important number, especially on your exam. You know, when we get to LCMs and other questions, is kibot sare factors ban So third, four times eight, I would add here, is one that is just tested so frequently, and you can keep going. So I'm just highlighting the ones that I think are tricky. By the time you get to uh, four nines are 36, which we'll cover in the nines, and then four tens are 40. Really, that's up to where you need to know it. But these are tricky. Four ones are, four twos are, threes are, fours are. I've just highlighted the ones that are important. I think fives though, just, you know, we know it just goes five and zero, five and zero. So you start from five, then it becomes 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so forth. And the test is also obvious. The last digit has to be five or a zero. These most people find very, very intuitive. So maybe a hint 
for you is anytime you're thinking what is four five or if you're thinking four fives are I find it easier to just think of the five table so if I'm ever stuck I'm thinking about what is seven fives or seven six are I actually first just think okay I know seven fives are 35 I will just add seven to that to get seven six are 42 so when we get to the seven table what I'm trying to say is mere mind may I have this anchoring of the five table and uske aspas. so for example if I was forgetting what is four six are right I told you that's my tricky one what is four six are well I'll just think okay what is four fives are that I know is easy that's 20 let me just add four to that and I will get four six are 24 so that's just these are just shortcuts of how to really master your multiplication tables let's continue with these by the way the reason I'm highlighting is not is to make you break the habit of seven fours are up calculator pe karo. I really want you guys doing this in your head and instantly okay so whether this you have to come keep coming back to this lesson or you have to practice this in your head you have to go through that learning curve once Ek dafa ki baat hai, but this is a lifetime asset of you knowing tables in your head okay so seven ka table goes 7 14 21 28 Okay, see this one I get stuck at and that's why I was saying uh, seven fours are seven fives are 35. What am I doing? I'm just listing out seven ones are, seven twos are and so forth. But here again, I'll highlight, you've learned these before. The ones I find tricky are these three. So I'll just highlight these here because on an exam, you bohat zyada Seven fours are 28 is, you know, every single factorization question will have this. And the tricky one again, seven six are 42 and seven eights are 56. Yes, somehow as much as I love math and, and think that I'm, you know, good at math and you will be too. These two somehow I always think So just get very, very comfortable with this, that seven eights are 56, seven six are 42. Whether you call this recta or memorization or concept, these have to be in your mind. Uh, when it comes to the eight table, so 8, 16, 24, uh, 32, 40, 48. I think the tricky one here and the one that is most on an exam is 8 threes are 24. Why do I say that? Well, 6 fours are 24 and 8 threes are 24. So this is a repeated theme exam mein where you have to either factorize 24 or you have to somehow find a quadratic solution which we'll get get to so both of these combos are 24 so you have to be comfortable with both of them and we're up to nine our last table which we have to do this i have a trick for you yes this is what i do which is we know multiplication by 10 is super easy then I just subtract the number itself. I'll give you an example. Let's say you asked me what is seven nines are, right? Well, instantly I'll say seven tens are 70 and I'll just subtract the number itself. So seven, so I've done it here, but I will just subtract it. 70 minus seven is 63. So seven nines are 63. The other way I'm trying to say this is like, if you just ask me what is five, what is five nines are, right? But instantly socho, Five tens are 50, take out a five, you get to 45, okay? So that's my way of memorizing the table. Others have, you know, there are other tricks you'll see if you Google this, which is, uh, well, if you add them together, you always get nine and that's fine. That's, that's completely fine. But I'll tell you in a second why I think the way I'm teaching you is, is a neater trick. So right, like now I'm up to five nines are six, but it's just 60 minus uh, six, which is 54, okay? Then seven times nine, I'm thinking 70 minus seven. We've done this above 63. Okay. And so forth. But yes, it is worth knowing that digits add to nine when you're doing this. So even if you were testing it, if you thought, oh, is it 64 or 63? If you just add them together, you get six plus three is nine. So it must be 63. These are just some ways to avoid mistakes when you're quickly doing tables. But I think this is a neat trick and should make you much faster at calculating nines.